Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be ranking every single eyeshadow palette that I used throughout the month of February and I'm going to be ranking the palettes by number of times that I used each eyeshadow palette. I do have 36 eyeshadow palettes that I reached for throughout the month of February ranging anywhere from one use all the way to 26 times was my most used palette in the month of February. So if you're interested in seeing what palettes got used for me, stay tuned for you yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, talking about palettes, or just chit chatting out makeup i'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video Before we get started, I want to know in the comments below, what was your most used eyeshadow palette in the month of February? If you track or a guess, let a girl know in the comments. I almost forgot you guys. I'm popping back in like at the end of the video to like, I'll clip this in at the beginning, but I want to know what you think my most used palette was in the comments down below. Let me know what you think was my most used palette in the month of February. I'm going to start with all of the eyeshadow palettes that I reached for one time. And for me, a use for an eyeshadow palette is dipping into the eyeshadow palette for one shade minimum. Um, but let's say like, here's an example. So I have my Danessa Myricks light work volume five. If I reach into two eyeshadows to create like one look that still just counts as one use. So basically the amount of times I use each palette at least one shade to create one look. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that is how I track my usage. So I have 16 eyeshadow palettes that I used one time in the month of February, and it's gonna be literally in no particular order other than the way the eyeshadow palettes are sitting in front of me. I have both of my Aether Beauty quads that I used one time in February. So I have the Aether Beauty Rose Crystal Quad, as well as the Aether Beauty Amertine Quad. I also have the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Eyeshadow Palette. This is a favorite, and I'm hoping to get even more use out of this palette this year. I already have one pan in this palette, and I would love to get a pan in the shade Galaxia in this palette. I'm also seeing one of my shades is starting to crack. I swear, I feel like my Natasha Nona 5 pans <laughs> just get so beat up. Um, as I mentioned, I did reach for the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5 eyeshadow palette one time. I don't necessarily know like what shades or how many like shades within the palette I reached for. Obviously, I'm just tracking unless it's a palette that I'm actively working to No Pan Left Behind, which if you want to catch my No Pan Left Behind series, I'll leave that linked. Um, but if I'm not actively No Pan Left Behinding it, I'm not tracking like every single shade in every single eyeshadow palette. That would be a very daunting task. I did only reach for my Juvia's Place, the Sweet Pinks, one time, and I don't know if No Pan Left Behind will be up or not, so if I'm spoiling this, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna end up decluttering this eyeshadow palette. I've realized that I'm really only keeping this palette around for this shade right here, which I did actually hit a pan on, but I actually use this as a nail polish as opposed to on my eyes. So I might end up depotting. It's so hard because like when this was going in my No Pan Left Behind, I had no motivation to reach for this, but I like also really like these two shades right here, but the mattes aren't like the best quality, but looking at it, I'm like, ooh, I don't really have like a hot pink matte like this or a hot fuchsia. Regardless, I may end up depotting, for sure I'm gonna depot this shade and keep it around because I love to use it as a pink nail polish. I might end up depotting one or two more shades out of this, but overall that palette is going to get decluttered because i just was not excited to reach for it and february is really the only month i could see myself reaching for that eyeshadow palette on the eyes maybe one time in like june if i'm doing a hot pink look but anyway i also reached for my abh nueva palette one time um i think i only reached into this for the lid topper shade but this is definitely a palette that got neglected last year and i'm hoping to get some more use on that one Another palette that I would love to show more love to this year is my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. I did reach for this eyeshadow palette one time in the month of February. Then I also have my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude eyeshadow palette. I also reached for this palette last month. I'm hoping this one makes an appearance at least once every single month, just because I do want to show my Natasha Denona palette collection love because they are expensive. And I do really like the Natasha Denona formula. Plus this is like the perfect palette to create like an everyday neutral cool leaning base. I also reached into my Dose of Colors Friendcation eyeshadow palette one time in the month of February. I have two of my Odin's Eye palettes that I reached for in February one time. I have the Odin's Eye Norn's eyeshadow palette 
which looks like this. I actually completed this no pan left behind style in January. So then I reached for it again in February. And then I have the Hella palette in collaboration with Angelica, the first um, collaboration that they did. I only reached for this one time. This is like a favorite palette in my collection. So I need to show this more love. And then I have the Angles of Illumination palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I am still working my way through this eyeshadow palette, so I really need to get my button gear and reach into this. It's an all shimmer palette though, so it's a little more slow moving to like actually work my way through this eyeshadow palette. But everything that I've tried in this palette so far, I am a huge fan of. I'm so happy to have this in my collection, just as like a companion palette to really add something special to looks. There are so many blue shades in here, which We've established I really love a blue eyeshadow. So, so far I'm really loving that. I have three Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes that I reached for one time in February. So up first I have the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction palette, which got one use. I also have the Pat McGrath Subliminal eyeshadow palette, which also got one use. And then finally I have the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette. I anticipate this is gonna get a, at least a couple of uses in the month of March. And then the final eyeshadow palette that I reached for one time in the month of February is the Ensley Rain Flower Moon eyeshadow palette. I need to work my way through this, especially because I picked up the Get Groovy eyeshadow palette. Um, so I really should finish testing this before getting into the Get Groovy. So we've got... We've got some work to do with this one, but it's beautiful the one time I've used it. All right, moving on to the eyeshadow palettes that got two uses for me. I have nine eyeshadow palettes that I reached for twice in the month of February. Up first, we have my Scooby-Doo Rubber Raggy palette. This was going in my No Pan Left Behind, and it only take and it only took me reaching into this twice to complete this palette. This is another one, spoiler, that I think might end up getting decluttered. But this is why I love doing No Pan Left Behind because it really does give me a good sense of what palettes I really do want to keep in my collection versus what I feel like I don't need anymore all right then i have the blend bunny surge eyeshadow palette i have just started my testing process for this eyeshadow palette so i've only reached into this palette twice i've reached for all of the blue like the entire blue row i have been i was really really impressed with the matte shadows in this palette like really really impressed so i'm really excited to continue to test this eyeshadow palette out and then i do have the shade juicy right here um, on my lids today to help deepen up this look but the main eyeshadow palette on my eyes today is the diverone cosmetics gloomy gardens eyeshadow palette and i have these three shades on my eyes right now i am currently again in the testing process for this eyeshadow palette i did a look the other day of like a bright yellow look which i absolutely loved i've been really enjoying um this eyeshadow palette i've already mentioned this but i'm kicking myself for not picking up their first launch and release and i'm really excited to continue to test this palette out all right then i have my pat mcgrath voyeuristic vixen quad right here um this is what this palette looks like i am still needing to no pan left behind this i've not yet completed it even though i've reached into this twice um and this is another one i'm like do i really need this I also have my Natasha Denona Biba palette. I did only reach for this eyeshadow palette twice, but I was trying to complete my Natasha Denona Glam eyeshadow palette. So I was mostly focused on like cool tones. I also feel like pinks match cool tones. Well, pinks can either go cool or warm, but I was having fun with cool tone pinks this, this past month. So I only reached for this one twice. Then I have my Natasha Denona Mini Love eyeshadow palette. I love this shade right here for an inner corner highlight that has, it's like champagne with a pink hue. I think it ties pink eyeshadow looks perfectly together. Um, so I reached for that shade a couple of times this month. I also have my Rowan Mood Forever quad. I love my Rowan quads and I'm actually surprised I only reached for this twice, but you'll see another quad coming up that I reached for more than twice, which kind of makes sense. I also have my NARS Irresistible Afterglow Irresistible eyeshadow palette. I was completing my testing process for this. I reached for this a couple times in January and then a couple more times in February. And I have finally finished testing this. So stay tuned for my final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. And then I also have the Adept Plain Jane Remastered eyeshadow palette, which I am hoping to have this eyeshadow palette in each month to reach for at least a couple of times, just because this is more of a companion palette for me and I feel like it's been neglected because it is a companion palette but there are some special special shades in this eyeshadow palette and I want to make sure I'm getting use out of it so two times for Adept Plain Jane Remastered. Alright guys and then I had one eyeshadow palette that I reached for three times and it is my Rowan 75 Degrees quad. This is what this looks like. I actually am 
working on this in my rolling project 10 pan i just have not reached for it much yet much yet this year um but this is something i feel more inclined to reach for in like the fall time so slow but steady for right now i reached for this only three times in january i have one eyeshadow palette i reached for four times in february and that is the adept flying fiddles eyeshadow palette this is so beautiful and i am planning to reach for this at least one to two times a month as well just because this is such a beautiful neutral palette and i feel so creatively inspired when looking into this i just want to drool i just want to look at this at all times and while i have completed testing this palette so i've used every single shade at least once i'm still so excited to continue to reach into this so i anticipate you'll see this in the months to come as well next i have four eyeshadow palettes that i reached for five total times so up first i have this one from lethal cosmetics i believe this is called the midnight serenade eyeshadow palette new to my collection I have finished my testing process for this i do plan to have a testing the last like eight to ten palettes i tried coming soon so keep your eye out for that if you want to hear my final thoughts on this very happy to have this in my collection i am super excited about the like metallic duo chromes in this palette i think they're absolutely stunning and beautiful and i had so much fun playing around with this palette and then I also reached into the Bella Beauté Bar Dead Roses eyeshadow palette five times. I am really excited to continue to reach into this palette, although I will say the color story is definitely outside of my comfort zone. There's some really beautiful shimmers, duochromes, and multi-chromes in this eyeshadow palette, though, that I am excited to continue to play with, even if I'm just using some of them as companion shades. Was really impressed with this palette. Again, not like an everyday reach for me. And I will say I am definitely someone who would prefer a palette almost like not have multi-chrome shades. I almost would rather multi-chromes be sold separately because I personally could deal without the multi-chromes. I just feel like they don't look as beautiful on the eyes as they do swatched. Like they make a beautiful swatch, but on the eyes, I just don't love it. So there's a couple of like multi-chrome shades in here that I'm like, they're not my favorite in the palette, but I still think it's a really beautiful palette. And again, I will be reviewing this in my upcoming testing or reviewing the newest palettes that I've tried, ranking, whatever. And then the other two palettes I reached for five times. So I have my Rowan 1111 quad. So I reached for all of my Rowan quads this month. I love the Rowan quads, as I mentioned, and I anticipate you will continue to see them <laughs> sprinkled throughout each month. And then finally, I also have my Natasha Denona Glam eyeshadow palette. I did reach for this five total times and was able to complete this no pan left behind style. And I feel like I gained a greater appreciation for this eyeshadow palette through doing no pan left behind and completing it i did that last year with this palette and i don't feel like i had as much of an appreciation for this last year as i did this year now granted there were times that i would create a base with this and then pop on like a shade out of the adept plain jane and i really liked that but i'm really glad that i used this again because i feel like i'm more excited to reach for this than i was before completing it no pan left behind then i have two eyeshadow palettes i reached for six total times and up first i have the kaleidos futurism 7 sashimi city eyeshadow palette i am currently working on panning this shade right here in one of my project pans so i have been reaching into this for an inner corner quite frequently in fact i have it as my inner corner highlight today it is this really beautiful kind of like gold green shifty like really sparkly lid topper sort of shade i definitely have a bit to go i feel like for a pan but i am hoping to roll this out of i think it's my deco pan that this in is in um i feel confident i can roll this out but you will definitely see this in my usage for the month of march and then i also have my unearthly cosmetics sorcerer's smoke eyeshadow palette that i reached for six times um this was newer to my collection and i needed to get around to testing it which i have since done and i had so much fun testing this eyeshadow pal palette out this is such a beautiful ne neutral eyeshadow palette with a pop of green and then a twist and I'm just a huge fan of Unearthly's eyeshadow formula. I'm definitely interested in picking up their Dreamer palette and truly anything else that they release. They're definitely one of my favorite indie brands that I've tried thus far, and I'm excited to continue to try more from the brand. Next, I have two eyeshadow palettes that I reached for 11 total times. And ironically, both of these eyeshadow palettes were being used for like a brow powder. Um, that's that's how these like 11 uses <laughs> happened so up first i have the persona identity one eyeshadow palette 
and <laughs> my shade fearless was what i was using as a brow powder i took the shade out because it was falling out and it has since unfortunately crumbled gotten all over my floor created a big mess and this shade is no longer so i definitely needed a new eyebrow shade or eyebrow powder so in comes my Tanessa Myricks Groundworks eyeshadow palette, which is the other palette I've reached for 11 total times. I got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag this year, and I'm really happy that I did. I was deciding between um, the shade Bark and the shade Sculpted for which one I preferred in my brows, and I definitely prefer Sculpted. These larger pans are a cream formula, and they are like very creamy so like i hit pan on bark within like three uses i don't need to sit here and think like oh my gosh you already have a, like i have a pan because they're very squishy shades but then you can kind of like continue to squish around so mm, sculpted has gotten the most use but i also have used bark a few times i've also used core and mirage but i'm still working on but I'm still working my way through every shade in this eyeshadow palette. I'm so pleased with this palette, especially for the brows. This one may or may not end up in my next ranking newest palette. It just depends on how long it takes me to get through the rest of the shades. But I am really happy with this eyeshadow palette and I reached for it 11 total times in February. All right, you guys. And then my most used eyeshadow palette throughout the month of February that I reached for 26 total times is my dose of colors baked browns we're bringing in an og for the most used and if you guys missed it i post a video called these makeup products will self-destruct where i talked you guys through a bunch of very old makeup in my collection that i either need to like use or lose by the end of this year and i told myself with this eyeshadow palette i either needed to hit pan in all five of the shades i already had three pans in the palette i either had to have a pan in all five of the shades or I had to completely finish this shade. So I've made it my goal to finish this shade. I use it as a lid setting shade literally every day. And I also did use this shade a couple of times. So I feel like the pan has expanded a little bit here. I'm not sure I'll be able to hit pan in these two shades by the end of the year. That made me a little bit nervous. So I was like, okay, I just need to complete this shade. And we are well on our way to doing so. 26 uses. That makes me so happy. I feel like I have one to two more months before this is truly like an actual complete shade. So I anticipate this is probably going to be my most used palette in March as well. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video ranking all of my eyeshadow palettes by the amount of times that I use them. I'm really encouraged to see that I reached for 36 eyeshadow palettes throughout the month of February. February is the shortest month and I reached for more palettes in February than I did in January. I also feel like I did my makeup more in February than January and I have a large palette collection so it makes me happy to see that I'm reaching for a large amount of palettes per month. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!